In this video, you are going to see the performance differences between two mobile phones from the same brand. On the left, we have the Samsung S25 and on the right, the Samsung S24 FE. These two phones comes with different chipsets and configurations. In this test, you will see how long each of them takes to export the same video under identical conditions. Talking about the chipset, the Samsung S25 comes with the Snapdragon 8 Elite built on a 3 nanometer processor with a clock speed of up to 4.47 GHz. The Samsung S24 FE comes with the Exynos 2400E chipset. This is a 4 nanometer build processor. Talking about the clock speed, it's maxed at 3.1 GHz. So, if we just look at these differences in chipsets and clock speeds, you might assume the Samsung S25 is going to be faster than the S24 FE in this video exporting test. But that's not exactly true. Okay, before we go further, I already started this test and you can see it running here. The file size is 4.67 GB and I'm using Adobe Rush software on both devices. This is a single track video file. If you are someone who applies a lot of transitions and effects, then these times won't really matter much for you. This test is more useful for those who keep their edits raw, mainly cutting out dead spaces from clips. By the way, the video I'm exporting is a 4K file that I recorded on my Sony A6700 camera at 8-bit. You can also notice the timer at the bottom. Don't worry, I'll tell you the exact export times for both phones. Now let's quickly look at the configurations of these devices. The S25 I'm using here has 256 GB of internal storage and 12 GB of RAM. On the other hand, the S24 FE comes with 128 GB of storage and 8 GB of RAM. I have already uploaded a lot of dedicated videos on both of these phones. You can check them out later for a better understanding. There are many factors that affect export times like chipset, internal cooling system, storage type, RAM type and more. At the start of this test, the S25 was at 74% battery while the S24 FE was at 62%. I'll also share the battery status after the test is done. Of course, both of these phones comes with different battery capacities, so keep that in mind. All right, here are the results. The Samsung S24 FE exported the video in 6 minutes and 10 seconds. The Samsung S25 finished about a minute later at 7 minutes and 9 seconds. After the test, the S25 felt noticeably hotter to touch compared to the S24 FE. And in terms of battery, the S25 dropped from 74% to 71% while the S24 FE dropped from 62% to 60%. So as you can see, there are multiple factors affecting the overall results. One important thing, larger phones generally have more space inside for better heat dissipation. That means they can handle performance for longer while compact devices heat up quicker. You will notice a similar difference when comparing MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. One has fans, the other doesn't. Next, of course, is the chipset difference but anyway if you ask me which of these two is better for video editing i'd actually pick the s24 fe not just because of the export timing but also because of the larger screen which makes editing videos much more comfortable let me know in the comments what do you think about this test which one would you prefer and remember i'm not degrading either of these phones this was just a fun little experiment i did to compare both devices also, always consider the price difference between making any judgment. That's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and take care.